the navigator plays a really important role in the CART T cell journey, and it hopefully starts at the time the patient comes in for the initial consult or actually even before that when the patient calls and the navigator does an assessment as to what um, the patient is coming in for, what kind of treatment they've had, what their barriers to care are, and then um, getting the patient set up and then working with them throughout the course of the journey, whether it's you know, their initial appointment coming in um, through the apheresis process, if they need bridging, getting, you know, working with the team with that, um, and then for the actual CAR T cell infusion, and then working with them post infusion as to, you know, staying in the area and what those barriers are and helping them um, to get through that initial 30 days post treatment. And of course, working with a multidisciplinary team is really important um, because it takes a village, as they say. Many of our patients come in t um, to the CAR T-cell journey having coming from the community or from another treatment center that maybe doesn't have um, CAR T-cell offered um, at that center, so they're referred to us. And a lot of what I think is important from a navigation perspective is working collaboratively with those community practices and those other centers and providing education not only to the patient, but to the providers, the office staff about what the CAR T-cell journey will entail and what the, what's needed from their perspective and what the patient needs. Because ultimately these patients, once they have received their CAR T-cells and have um, been followed you know, close to the treatment center for 30 days or so, they will be referred back into the community. So the community providers need to have a good understanding of what the patient's journey is like and what resources are available to the patient and to them should they have questions down the line. Mm -hmm.